Hey everyone. Okay, as you can see, got the carburetor off the club cart. I plan on doing two carburetors at once when it comes to cleaning. I'll do this carburetor and I'll do the carburetor that's on the John Deere. But uh, this carburetor is probably more interesting to do a video of. So it's off. It actually came off relatively easy. I had to remove the throttle plate right here to get it off. The linkage is all right here. This here is the crankcase vacuum, I believe. Yeah, that's the, that's the crankcase vacuum. That went into the air filter. So actually oil was coming back up through this line right here. And I believe it was soaking the air filter. So this thing might have been over full of oil. The uh, oil is fully drained. It's down in the pan right there. And um, I just left it down there while I'm taking out the carburetor. I'm in an area I don't really want to get too much oil on the ground. The battery is on charge. But uh, this and all this stuff here. It's not really what this video is about. This video is about what's inside the carburetor. Here is the carburetor. To me, this actually looks like a, a Kohler carburetor. And those little specks of dirt that just came off the carburetor um, was not 100% clean. Um, anyways, this looks like a Kohler carburetor. I had a Kohler engine on a tractor quite a while back. Uh, it was a white tractor. And this carburetor looks very similar. So we're going to open this up and try and do this one-handed. I already broke the nut free. I have no idea what that is. It's either a car or that's a bird. Okay, thank you. So let's see how bad it is in here. It's actually a stud. Interesting. I might need two hands. Okay, it's drained out. Plastic float. Uh, doesn't look horrible. So my idea is I'm just going to do a quick clean on this and see if that fixes the issue. Set it right there. Take the bowl out. Uh, a little bit of crud in the bowl. That, that should clean up. But uh, I'm not an expert, but I think there's actually water in that gas. I could be wrong. It doesn't smell horrible, horrible. It smells like gas. Emily thinks it smells horrible. I can't really uh, tell the smell of gas too much. But, um, that black might either be dirt or that could be a little bit of oil, but um, it's probably mostly dirt. So my idea is this container right here I'm going to use to spray clean it. And if I need to dunk it, I got two other containers, one for this carburetor and one for the uh, last carburetor I plan on doing. So I'm going to let these soak for about, I, know I should let it soak for a couple hours, but I'm kind of in a time, time constraints here. So probably let them soak for about uh, an hour or so at the most in straight carb cleaner but um, here it is I'll fully disassemble this carburetor I wasn't expecting it to have a stud there I thought that was going to be a uh, like a bolt with a, a jet in there but uh, yeah it's actually it's a quite heavy carburetor and uh, almost as heavy as those newer ones for V-Twins Briggs's so I guess that's pretty much it hopefully I can get this thing running and uh, hopefully I got some success out of this and hopefully I can get some uh, success out of the John Deere carburetor. If anything interesting comes up on that carburetor, I'll definitely do a video, but I'm not expecting anything interesting. So I'll talk to you later. Please keep redneck like always and uh, please subscribe and comment.